Yo, welcome back. Today I'm talking about the dumbest shit these underground artists be doing that can either ruin them or their career. So let's get it. So, at number one, we got the rappers that use way too egotistical and treat their fans horrible. I'm like, ain't no way you this stupid that you treat your day ones, your ride or die, your peeps, the people that support you for your work terrible. Like you slap Stop them man, and put it on your boy. Instagram story. And by that, you already know I'm talking about Summers. He's called the most humble rapper as a joke because this thing I does everything that is opposite from being humble so fucking expensive like this shit a hundred fucking thousand man, bro, man stop mean? stop playing me up in this bitch boy and to that fan i don't know why you did nothing about it i don't care if i'm his number one fan i will <laughs> man i'm dead at this nigga different if i find out how he be treating us your music could be hard but that type of shit could break our relationship with your fans which makes your shit meaningless at this point you sell out for the numbers the same shit goes to Cardi, even though he's not on the ground man most of these rappers look up to him anyway they see play with Cardi finessing and blue balling aiden runs and his own fans just because he lost that mysterious shit dude you 30 years old my guy what the fuck are you still doing this shit take care of your kids man what the fuck and a little band left TikTok user will be like, since Cardi's doing it, I'ma start doing it as well. What? What? Bro, first of all, look at yourself in the mirror. And what's the point of you doing music if you just gonna be playing your fans and not give them what they want, which is fucking music? This shit got me confused. Now Cardi's looked like as a fucking dumbass, weird ass nigga that can't lay off that mysterious shit. The second dumbest stuff that they be doing is becoming drug addicts. How many hours have we lost because they was on drugs? Alright, Peter, these niggas wake up with all this money and fame and be like hmm what should i spend my money on a new mansion no nah. a new what no nah. not even bitches bro i told you i'm not spending my money on that shit i'm spending it on some drink 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 and become a junkie because I want to be cool. Now you a fucking dumbass. I lost a few family members because they became addicted to drugs. And me seeing these rappers doing this shit, I know they suffering when the cameras is off. They could appear online and act like, oh, it's all fine and that nothing is wrong with them. And they having fun and they cooling. I'm telling you, bro, these niggas want to go to rehab because this shit makes them feel like hell. He's not even doing his drugs. And that's all he raps about. Because he knows like, bro, I killing myself with some purple why the rap hell not nah. now the rappers that come in my mind are lucky summers again can can share money potentially and if you got any more rappers bro let me know leave them in the comments and most of these niggas already talk about this online and how they don't even like it let me show some examples look shit way deeper than his rap shit like at the end of them songs we going through it at nighttime trying to sleep we need a piece of fucking perk to even just go to sleep bro we make them songs about them drugs we go through it lucky though he coping hard saying oh i just wanted this lingo i always wanted one out of nowhere nigga I always wanted to have a little belly lean belly like chief keith and gucci man man shut the fuck up dude cannot run a mile without taking 15 water breaks to me this shit sounds like he coping a few more sips bro and that shit finna start exploding Pew. That shit will sound like somebody just dropped a bomb. And if you here defending this nigga's addiction problems, then you have some serious issues inside here, little bruh. But now I hope these artists get better though. And let's move on to the next. And that is being way too fucking horny. That's all what you mean, bruh. I'm basically saying ruin your whole reputation because that little nigga down here wanna start spraying his liquids. SSG Kobe, man. I'm sorry to the Kobe fans, but that nigga ain't making no type of comeback. We giving this dude so much time. And does and you doesn't seem like he's doing good like who the fuck still listen to ssg kobe in 2024 i bet xavier so bass is getting more place than this man oh because he feeling a little horny that night that nigga must have been like hmm what do i feel like doing today release some music nah i'm releasing semen and and go out his way and did this shit he did like why can't these rappers get some cushy their normal way like you got all this clout and that still won't help they want to go stream it's either forcefully or they just want to talk to little girls like you just want to what your reputation do? Or do these grown ass women got some type of disease that we don't know? Now who falls into this category? Like 90% of these rappers. Like I get it bro, we, we niggas, we get super horny. <laughs> And we and it's hard to control but doing it to minors need to have some type of common sense in your head because you're missing brain cells now the last type of rappers i'm talking about and i'm very passionate on talking about these because this these niggas pisses me off i just wanna 
<clears throat> smacking their little ass head, bro. Like, and it's the fake gangsters. Or just the ones that just trying to act hard in general. And it's very obvious that these niggas is just acting and they don't even live that type of lifestyle. Online beefing as well. Like, bro, they didn't like, bro, they didn't spend your so just jump on. Huh? That's who you is, son? Come on, come on. We on his ass, son. Let's spend. I mess with your music, but I know you not like that. I can literally see your bones. You are a white suburban kid. All it takes is for that one nigga to come test your ass. Ski mask on, blicks ready, sees you and be like, "Oh, so you that Nespin kid? So you really like that? You really like that, bro? You really, bro? You really think Nespin doing shit? That kid will pull out wings and start flying like a bird. Like, bro, stop. Niggas really obsessed with making ups now. Shit crazy. I don't care if your music hard. If I see Nespin doing this shit to me or my homies on the wrong day i'm like bro i'm giving you five seconds to be out my face or else you and your little homie gonna get home at jail mamas with a big ass handprint on your face crying these studio gangsters gotta be stopped or else you're gonna get your consequences i can't control what you're doing not my problem not my business but anyway that's the end of the video let me know if y'all need a part two i'm solo up your heart and make sure your day's doing great let me know your thoughts show my discord I already told you so many times why you still not joining. That's where I connect with you. And I'll see you next time. Peace.